Hey there everyone, welcome to the series automating the boring stuff in ANSYS mechanical. In today's video, we will be seeing how to export tabular data. In previous video, we have seen how to export the graphics pen and this video will be covering tabular data for any active object. So you need to remember that you are on any object which is active. For example, if I on this result, for this result active tabular data is this one and if I am in force, then this is the tab, uh, active tabular data and if I am in fixed support so right now it doesn't have any tabular data for this but if you have some remote displacement kind of thing then definitely you will be seeing tabular data let's go back to this uh, directional deformation and see how to get the tabular data so tabular data is present in our user interface get pane similar to what we saw in graphics so it starts with uh, the entry point which is ext api dot user interface dot get pane and then here it will be mechanical enum mechanical panel enum and dot tabular data so last time i believe we saw this graphics today we will see tabular data next video we will see worksheet and then the graph so let's select tabular data and see it will return this com object which is nothing but the tabular data let me assign it to some variable uh, and call it as table from table uh, we need to find the control of this uh, table so it is under table dot control unknown that's how the name is defined so it's really unknown okay so let's store it into a variable control so if i call that control you will see it's an empty list so now control has some values like what is the number of rows and what is the number of column so for that if you pass control dot column columns count you will see it is giving us five if i show you this column we have one two three four and also this first one one two which is five so we will see one by one and let's close the graph for now and expand this tabular data so that you can see both so similarly for uh, rows count you will see rows count so you will see three so one two and along with that this uh, the top header as well i believe so to get into any uh, cell so definitely you have to loop through all the rows and for each of the rows you have to loop through all of the columns and get the value so we will see that but let's understand how to fetch the column value individually so you can call column dot cell these are individual cells and here you have to pass this uh, index similar to excel you have i and j right so similarly you can call it here so for example if i call 0 0 dot text so it is telling it is not under this range let's call one still no let's call one comma one and then you see it is it has not given anything next move on to one comma two and let's see what it is giving okay so you see this zeroth index is not giving anything and zero one is also not giving anything but if you pass on to row number one and then two uh no this is uh, one and two right so i is one and row is two uh, column is two so this is how we can get and to get this one index so it will be two comma two so if you pass Two comma two, you will get one, and if you want to this value, it will be uh, two comma three. So you got this right. So if you go to top, uh, row is two, row is one for three, you will get minimum m. So this is uh, zero. This top one header. Next is one, and then this empty one is zero. Then one and two. I think it starts with one so one uh two and three so this is how you can uh, go through all the text so i have this snippet ready and see how you can get all this so in this script what i am doing is i uh, capture the table object and take the unknown control and then i create a loop with control uh, column count plus one because i am using a range and i start with one but for column i am starting with two so i think that's why uh, we were not getting so it is starting with two and then i will capture into an empty list and for new line once the loop finishes i will put a, a new line character 
and then I will try to print it. If I run this, let me clear this out. And if I run this, you will see as it is starting from time, minimum, maximum, average, and all of the values. So as I said, this is for the active one. Let's go back to the force. And you will see we have steps, time, and force. And if I run the same, then I got step, time, and force. Right? So this can be stored into a CSV file. So I will show you that. Let's see if we have some other things available. For example, contact tool, it's worksheet. So this will not come. Anything else we have? I think these are some other things. Okay. So let's see how to store. So similarly to store this, I will just append use the Python writer function like opening a empty CSV file. And I will just dump the lines as it is because this already has comma as delimiter and new line character so it will not be a problem and if i just execute it and you will see that i have the file written here and if i open this text.csv and you will see all are properly arranged with the same file if i repeat for this force let's see i executed and let's open the same file once again and okay it's not written maybe object okay i'm sorry it should be force and if i execute once again let's open and then you will see this is the force and you were able to export it so this was through python api and there are also uh, the javascript method so let's see how we can do that first thing is how to activate this tabular data right so here this is the tabular data if i unhide you will see this is not coming and to uh, you know to switch it on and off so you can just call uh, this method which is within this uh, design space script which is do tablet data window if i run it you will see it is coming it is going coming going so first uh, we don't know whether it's on or off right so similar to the graphics uh, string so what we can do first we will check whether it's open or not if it is not open then open it so let's run it you will see even if you uh, execute it multiple times it will always be uh, visible now coming to next thing which i wanted to show similar to uh, graphics in graphics we saw that if you click on this image uh, image to file it was opening up this window right but we had no option to control it similarly if you go to each of the table and click on right you see this export and you have two options to export as text and excel similarly if you go to deformation you will get the same thing like export so to achieve this you can call this function which is uh, which is ext api execute command script and then do tablet data display context menu and id of this table because this is used to turn on and off lot of things so to ex to activate this particular tablet data which is under export tablet data we are passing this id and if you execute the same window will open up and you can just save it but this is not uh, i mean with a user intervention you cannot add it so for that reason the previous method works well i think that's all for this video and in next video we will see how to export worksheet so please stay tuned subscribe to my channel and thank you